They was like, was like, what the heck is going on? Who, first of all, who taught him how to dance? That's the first thing. The forward shoulder, back forward. Back shoulder, forward shoulder. Y'all, y'all, if I start showing y'all all my moves, people are gonna be stealing these, going to the clubs, for you know it. I'm gonna be, ha I'm gonna have to like sue people for, a, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. I just, you know, I just don't worry about it. How y'all doing this afternoon? Good to see you all. Hey, what's up? We jamming on this. Anita just did her therapy, so she is in lots of pain. Her leg is up, but she's still. Yeah, happy about that. No, no, no. I did sound like I was happy. Like y'all got guys. Nita's in lots of pain. No, I didn't. Happy. I did not mean it like that. It was not supposed to be that way at all. So, <laughs> but how y'all doing this afternoon, man? I'm sorry y'all had to see a 57 year old move. Literally, there's two of them, right? This, this one. <laughs> right, the left and snap, snap with your arm close in. Your arm got to be close in to your body, and you step, and you step, and then there's this one oh, with the shoulders where you really, where you really feel it. So do not steal those. Anyhow, that's not why I'm here, y'all. That's not why I'm here. What we're doing is I'm making a shrimp dressing. Good news and bad news. Good news is, y'all wanna hear the good news or the bad news first? The good news, okay. The good news is I'm making the shrimp dressing right now. The bad news is we won't be on tonight because we got invited to a uh, retirement party for some really good friends. So we were like, they were like, oh no, we forgot you do your show. Y'all won't be able to make it. I was like, bro, we coming. So we gonna, we gonna be there, so. I'll, I'll be on for a little while. We're gonna do our little thing thing right here. It's a really simple recipe. Um, and the people who didn't get to see this live will see it at six. I'm sure they're gonna be like, what's happening with the greens? Why did he not? Oh, he was on earlier. And then they're gonna, then they also gonna steal my dance move. See, I gotta, I gotta erase this whole video. This is not even worth it. But what's up green team? How you guys doing? Oh, the one with the clap. Oh, the hands in the air. You talking about the hands in the air, the hands in the air. The ha Come on, man. Don't look. These are patented moves. I don't need y'all stealing these, all right? The kids got all that, you know, that, that. All that. No, bro. No. The classics stay forever, all right? But anyhow, that's not what we're here for. We're not here for a dance lesson, okay? Um, although I can teach y'all a few things. I, I feel in my spirit that I can teach you a few things. But um, we're gonna make a shrimp and crab dressing. I didn't grab my stuff. Got it sitting over there ready for me to do the do do with it. And it's a simple little recipe, man. And do I wanna say it's in the in the in the in the cookbook? I'm not sure if this one is in the cookbook or not. But if not, it's still on our website and you can get them, you can get it in our future cookbooks if it's not. So Real simple, I got some plant-based butter, mm -hmm. and we got some celery, some, um, yeah, some celery, got some celery, got some green pepper, orange pepper, or, or any kind of sweet pepper you have. So right now I'm breathing hard. See why you can <sighs> Hold on y'all, give me a second. Okay, and we got some sweet onion, a little garlic, Shrimp, of course, because, you know, shrimp dressing without shrimp is kind of just a dressing. And who wants that, you know? I got some crab meat. Yes, I do. Uh, we're using our spicy seafood blend. We're going to use uh, a cream of soup. If you have mushroom, cream of celery. Guess what we got, thanks to one of our, our loyal uh, green team members. They sent us a few cans of it because I could never find it. Cream of shrimp. I know it's backwards. Don't worry about it. Uh, just do like this with your eyes and you'll be able to see it the right way. Cream of shrimp. And then, instead of letting me to have to get up and make her cornbread, because I don't even make the cornbread anymore, she has to do it, because she, I don't went to the grocery store and bought some corn muffins, y'all. Judge yourself, all right? Don't don't judge me, judge yourself, all right? So we're gonna use that, and then I got a little, little chicken broth. 
So this shouldn't be really hard, uh, hard to do. Um, it's a very simple elevated uh, dressing recipe. You can have this for your, um, guess what guys, Thanksgiving's coming up, man. Um, Friendsgiving, if you have that. Um, holidays is a great uh, recipe to bring to a party. Um, I'm bringing this to this party because the husband of the person that's, re that's retiring asked me to bring it every time. I, every time we come for anything they want. They're like, ooh, he make that drink. How much you pay me? How much do I have to pay you? I'm like, bro, I got you, son. This, this is also when you clap. I got you, son, at every word that you mean, okay? So that's what's happening. I'm gonna, we're going to go ahead and, and cook together um, because I didn't want to cook by myself. I'm so used to cooking with you guys, you know? I could have just flipped it out real quick. But I'm like, my, my cooking green team, man. They, they won't miss us today. Let me come on and do the do. So how's everybody? They said they heard Anita. She was in the back and she just scooched up to run to the restroom. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk to her in a second. Good afternoon, everyone. So let's go over our ingredients. Look at me, y'all. This is how This is how y'all see it. This is why I don't ever know what you're saying too late because this is actually what you're saying right now. And <clears throat> I've already said that like a minute ago. So you're like, when I said, when I said hi, when you said, say hi, you never said nothing. Facebook, it's like a whole nother show going on right here. So, <laughs> so let's uh, come on and get this stuff together, y'all. Let me show you what is happening here and, and show you my ingredients again. The ingredients I have kind of prepped, uh, got that plant-based butter, got that green pepper, and you could just use one pepper. You don't have to use both. Uh, and the recipe says either. I decided to use both. I got a sweet pepper and a green pepper there, a savory and a sweet. Uh, we have some celery. We have some onion. We have some garlic. We got some shrimp. This is a few times you'll see me like just purposely use white shrimp in a salad or something like that because I don't want to waste the good red Argentine shrimp and something like this where you really can't tell the difference. Um, spicy seafood, our cream of soup. It's a very quick, easy uh, recipe, guys. And then some cornbread, a couple of, t couple of cups. Probably for this, about three cups. So I might use almost three of those, um, those muffins or close to that. And then I got a little, little broth to lighten it up if it, if it needs a little more wetness, okay? And then we're going to bake that bad boy. So how is everyone doing? I hope you, if you're at work, don't get in no trouble watching us. Y'all can watch us later. Y'all ain't going to be like, Mr. Green, I lost my job, man. Watching y'all. My, 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 my supervisor came in and told me, called me watching y'all, and I ain't got a job. Don't watch us later, okay? <laughs> so let's start getting this thing together, y'all. It's a pretty simple recipe, like I always say. I'm going to start with a few tablespoons of plant-based butter. We're going to get it in this pan right here. We're going to let it melt. That's, that's what we're going to do. Once that starts melting, I'm going to get all my harder uh, vegetables, the celery, the, the um, peppers in here. Start cooking them down. Get the onion in there. Get the garlic in there last. And we want the translucency through that or close to soft. And then we're going to pull them off and add the shrimp. Now we're cooking the shrimp even though we're going to bake it, we're going to cook it to make sure we don't have any raw shrimp because we're only going to bake it for about 30, 30 minutes to get a little crispiness on the top, um, but you want to make sure you don't kill anyone. So I cook it to just pass raw, okay? So you don't have to cook them all the way through, they don't all have to be um, no longer opaque, um, but just cook them so they're not raw anymore and then I pull them off. I don't want to cook them over, if you cook them really, really um, long on the, on the stove and then you cook them an additional time, baking it, you're going to end up with rubbery um, shrimp. You don't want that, right? Don't nobody want that. What's up, Tammy Rowland? What's up, Gina? Good to see you guys. Um, thank you for hanging out here with me this afternoon. I ain't got no friends, so it's just y'all, man. Look, look, I don't be hanging out with nobody but you. Y'all my friends. No new friends, okay? <laughs> So, I'm going to go ahead and let that do its thing. Let me turn that on because I thought I already turned it on and I didn't. Um, so I'm gonna, Tanit Ham says, do the greens work anywhere I am new? Tanit, guess what? We were blessed about a year, almost two years now, about a year and a half ago, a year and a few months ago to be able to step away from our job and do this full time. 
All right. So we have a spice blend company that um, we make um, healthier alternative pink Himalayan sea salt and no salt blends. We have 23. Um, that took us off our job. So uh, during our, our, um, our time home, we share our life with uh, our green team members, with you guys, and especially our dinner time. So every night at dinner, we, um, uh oh, look who's walking around with us. Somebody walking. Y'all, that little tap is she got a cane now. So she, think, she thinks she's fancy now. She got a cane. She had the walker. So, um, Tenet, I think her name was. My wife, that's my wife, Anita. Um, we usually cook together, but a few weeks ago, she got a knee replacement. So now she's healing, and um, I'm a, a lot of times here by myself, which is okay. I can look. I, I can talk to y'all. We can flippity flap it, all right? So um, so welcome. I think I answered your question. Yeah, we have a placement company. We don't. We work for ourselves, so we have our own company we started. Um, Anita is, is popping, so I'm going to let her get by and run for her phone. I'm so running. People, people are calling her. I'm but running. welcome. But welcome to um, the family. So I got my butter. Melt it, guys. We gotta, we gotta get this stuff done, all right? Let me pull you in a little closer. We don't have a cameraman today, so this is all also what's happening today. I'm gonna be your cameraman, and I'm gonna try to tilt it enough so you can see what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and get our green pepper in here. Let's get our sweet pepper in the pan. Let's get our celery in the pan. And these are gonna gonna give you a, a, a nice little. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna cook them to not to the super soft, where they still have a little bit of firmness to them. Um, but they're gonna bring some flavor, believe it or not. Just a little bit of uh, vegetables, and we like to add vegetables in all of our recipes. You know, we have hundreds of them on our website that are pinned to the bottom. Derek, is there, somebody asked me something. Where's your new tripod, Derek, you got for your birthday? I'm trying to save it because my cameras should be here tomorrow. So my new camera system should be here tomorrow. And um, I don't know how many days it's going to be before I figure out how to use them. But um, I didn't want to open the box. You know, I wanted to open them all at the same time. So I'm going to add a little sweet onion in there, guys. Add a little more if you want. It's all right. Again, I'm making this for a party. I'm trying to be... Um, not as bold with the flavors as I would if I was cooking for myself because you, you almost have to cook like a restaurant when you when you bring stuff to parties and things like that because everyone can't have you know certain things and salt and so, some things are too much for other people so um, I'm, I'm trying to keep that in mind so I want to cook that until those bad boys get a little bit soft a little softer all right let me get my uh, spatula so that I'm ready to do my flippity flipping. And yes, got my spatula. Mm -hmm. You know, cook it, I'm gonna turn it down a teeny bit. Had it on high to start. I got plant-based butter again in there. Um, just because that's what we keep in the house. If you are not using some of these um, plant-based vegan alternatives, um, especially the dairy-free stuff, you're missing out because of, you're getting a great quality product that'll bake and cook and taste just like things that you're used to with dairy in it. And you don't have to have dairy, you know? They, they fooled us back when we were kids and told us we needed dairy for all this kind of stuff, uh, bones and calcium and all that stuff. And the products that they have are, <clears throat> almost everything that we use have more calcium, more, um, um, vitamin D and stuff like that, then dairy, the dairy uh, alternative. So we're getting that in there. Go on, let it do its thing. I'll see the, the, the flavor, flavor crystals in here. And again, this is a very, very, very simple recipe. Um, we're gonna, and it's on our website. Um, cannot verify or deny if it's in our cookbook, which uh, we should be shipping next week to you guys. Um, we're gonna add up a goo gob of, of uh, garlic and again in the recipe the amount is not goo gob I was a little more professional writing the book okay <laughs> so we're going to add that garlic we're going to get those fragrance uh, oils kind of wafting up here oh man so we got that nice butter in here the, the plant-based butter we have our vegetables that are cooking 
and we have some garlic in there. Move my stuff out of the way here. Uh, Millen, I'm gonna have to go ahead and block him. He is trying to scam you guys, telling you Pepsi is trying to send you money. I don't believe that nonsense. Hey, Pepsi's trying to send you guys some money. So go ahead. I like that where that is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Let's get a little. Let's see if I can get it all on here. We're gonna get all those beautiful Vegemite blades out. Ooh. And we're gonna put it back. I just want to use the same pan and start getting our. Uh, I'm just gonna scrape some of this garlic out because I don't want my garlic to get all scorched. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cook with the same pan our shrimp. And again, we're not trying to do gourmet shrimp. We're just cooking some of the raw off of it. So I have some drunk jumbo shrimp that I picked up. All right. They're already clean, they're already uh, veined and deshelled. And it's probably about three quarter of a, of, a, of a pound of shrimp there. And we're not gonna be really concerned with getting them spiced up. And I'm just using pretty much the heat from this hot pan and the hot stove. And I'm about to take these guys off, believe it or not. I'm about to take these guys off about right where they are right now. Again, we're not going to cook them too long because we're going to cook them some more in, in our dressing. And I, and I feel like in my spirit that I want to chop these in half so that everyone gets a nice little morsel of that. So this is a little something extra I'm adding to this. So give me a second. While I dump these on my cutting board, and then we're gonna go ahead and just give them a little chippity chop. I mean, if you wanna be fancy and using the whole pound, just throw them in there, leave them big. People like that too. You know, oh my God, I got a big old piece of shrimp, you know. Whatever, all right? It's your kitchen, do what you wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little chippity chop. We're gonna use our Cooking with Greens uh, brand knives, of course. You guys know our knives, you can get on our website. I'm gonna cut them, um, I think in half. I still want like really large pieces in there. I don't want um, them to be tiny bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a little chippity chop. Again, they're gonna cook a little longer also off the heat because the heat of the uh, shrimp are gonna make, make, make it continue to cook a bit. Again, if you see a few pieces that have a little um, clearness still to them, do not worry. Do not worry. You want to cook them, you don't want them rubbery. Just giving them a head start so, so nothing is raw when we finish here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these pieces out here. Cut in half. And we are going to toss that together here. Hold on, let me just cut the last piece here. Boom, boom, and boom. All right. So, now that we got that going, uh, we're gonna add everything to a bowl. So I got a nice little size bowl here. Just hopefully you guys can see. Can you, can you guys see okay? I hope so, hold on, let me just, let me look on my, on my screen here and see if you guys can see. Well, I mean, you kinda can see. You, you kinda can see, but. Again, we're going to be better, y'all. We're going to be better. We're actually getting a whole different camera system. And we will, we will, we're going to learn today. Because this little, this little tripod does not want to tilt or nothing anymore. So hopefully that's good enough, guys. I'll, I'll lift it up if I can. So I'm going to get the shrimp in the bowl here. I'm getting those shrimp pieces in there. Get rid of this here so I can clean this later. We're gonna add all our vegetables that we cook down. Smell that. Smell that with your Android phone, I know. Smell it. Y'all smell it? Your Android? I know I know the Android can do that. So we're gonna add all that in there along with those oils from the, the plant-based butter. I'm gonna add our cooking with grains. 
spicy seafood blend. Y'all y'all have that in your house. You know how it is. I'm going to add that in there. Again, you can get our blends on our website for anyone that's new. Throw that bad boy in there also. Now, again, this is, this is the easy part of it. Um, you can use your choice of cream of soup. This is a shortcut recipe. This is something that we love. This is how we do it. You don't have to do it this way. We, we, you can add your cream in there. You can do a little, whatever you want to do. But this is how we're going to do this. Um, we uh, usually use cream of celery or cream of mushroom. I happen to have cream of shrimp in there. Yes, they do make cream of shrimp. And I'm going to add about a half a can or so of this. We don't want it to be too overpowering. And I'm going to save the rest for later. I don't even know what I'm going to save it for. I'm probably going to end up throwing it away next week. You know, if I don't make something from it. They'll go in my fridge and then next week I'll be like, what is this? And throw it away. We don't have like a bunch of people in here eating it. Alright, so let's get my small spatula. And I know somebody is being uh, bothered by the way I'm saying spatula. And I'm going to give about a half a can of this. So if you're using the celery or the mushroom cream of, half a can, guys. That's really all you need. And again, revise it however you like. If you're like, I want a little more of that creamy stuff in there, you're good. My, our recipes are only a guideline, man. So we're going to add in it about a half a can or so. You know, however, if your spirit say stop, what's your spirit? That, okay, it says stop. See? Like that. You just stop. All right? So I got that in there. Um... And then the last thing is some cornbread. Now my wife usually makes a beautiful cornbread that we love here. It's a little sweet. It's a little savory. And I'm not going to make her make that. I just went to the grocery store and grabbed some corn muffins. All right. Um, for this amount, you're going to need about approximately three, three cups or so. Um, but you want to break it up. Um, if you want to, and these are kind of a little drier. You want to toast them a little bit, and then that way you'll get, um, you can just use bread if you don't want to use this part, but the sweet corn is going to be a great um, addition to the sweetness in the crab, yeah, I haven't added the crab yet, and the shrimp, alright? So we're just going to break some pieces up here, and I'm just guesstimating around three, around three-ish cups, alright? Which is going to be close to about three of these muffins on some really, really uh, full cups, give or take, you know? And that's why we're doing the broth at the end, just in case it's a little dry, we can, we can wet it up with a little flavor, not water, um, not adding uh, more, uh, more uh, of the, the cream of soup, so you get more salts and things like that in there, but we're gonna add a little chicken broth, all right? Or, or, or seafood broth if you have it. So I'm gonna give it about, yeah, let's do, let's do about half or one more. And I can always add more if we need it, all right? So that's uh, about two and a half of these big babies right here. I'll give it about half of that. And I'll reevaluate. If I need more, I will I'll add more. Uh, I like that. All right. So we got that. Dark, where's the crab, man? You said it was crab and shrimp. Whip. Calm down. Calm down. I got you. So I got, um, and get when you're doing something like this again, Use the cheapest shrimp you can get. Don't use the red Argentine, which we use all the time. And don't buy the super lump crab meat. So this right here is a handy crab meat claw meat, all right? And I think it was like 12 bucks. So crab, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't uh, shot for crab lately, crab is super expensive. You know it's hot. You know it's expensive when I go up to my high voice like that. Super expensive. So like a uh, lump, super lump crab meat, about fifty bucks a pound. It's crazy right now. Crazy. The highest quality. So we're gonna use the claw meat. It's gonna give you the same flavor. You don't have to worry about having. Um, I mean, if you're trying to be rich, go on and do that. I can't stop you. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these. And we're gonna dump in that crab meat. And because I bought two, and normally you don't have to use more than one, I wanna make it super crabby and super shrimpy. I want a little higher than a half of a pound on the shrimp, and I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go a whole pound on the crab, all right? Hey 
You made these child proof, I think. There we go, all right. So, I'm gonna dump my crab in there, and the next thing we're gonna do is just mix all of it, all of it together. I know some, somebody in there is like, uh-uh, I just got some crab, it was $29, look. Crab goes from different different grades, from low to high grade, and I guarantee you, I shop around. I go to Restaurant Depot everywhere, and the highest is around 50, 50 to almost $60 a pound. It's crazy, man. So, I got all this good ingredients in here. What I'm gonna do is just start trying to make them all get married together. I want them to be awfully wedded husband and wife. Not lawfully, awfully. Because this is against the law right here. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of get everything incorporated like this. This is gonna be a very seafood rich um, dressing. You got your vegetables, you got your cornbread, you got your shrimp and your crab and all those vegetables, uh, the butter, the seasoning. So what you want? What I what I'm doing is just kind of flipping and and kind of folding it in so everything kind of incorporates. And I might not even need any of that broth because I kind of like the consistency here. So a lot of that crab's going to help too. And I did not drain the crab, guys. I want that flavor in there. So when this bakes all together, you're gonna get all that goody, goody, goodness. Oh my God. Y'all come look at this, please. Can somebody come look at this? Come on, I'm gonna need y'all to look at this, man. Oh Lord God, Lord, look at this. Man, shoot! Somebody talk to somebody about that. That thing gonna be good. I don't care who you are, where you're from. And you see how simple that was? And you can literally eat it just like this. But we want to have a little bit of, you know, a little crispy. We want everything to kind of get a chance to, you know, marry, hang around together. Because you can't really get divorced until you marry for a little while first. They want you to at least try it out. So the same with this. Y'all y'all figure each other out. See if you can live together. And then after it's finished, it should be a beautiful marriage. So we got the oven set on 375 today. 375. And I got a nice little... Take a pan to the party. Don't care if it come home pan. <laughs> you don't know how it is. I kind of want fancy on them and got one of my little fancy. I don't even want to think about it no more. So, what I'm going to do is kind of give it a little coating here. I'm going to oil it a little bit just so the pieces don't stick too much on the bottom. And just like that. And then we're gonna get everything into the pan, all right? So let's dump. Dump, 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 dump. Gonna be very crabby. The shrimp piece is gonna be a nice, like, ooh, I got a shrimp. Y'all watch that, uh, that little rascal when they made that, that birthday cake, that surprise cake? And they're like, ooh, I got a brush, ooh. They're like, wow, they made a cake with surprises inside. <laughs> so that's how the shrimp's gonna be. They're gonna be like, oh, this is a nice little crabby drink. Oh, wait a minute, I got shrimp. <laughs> so I'm just kind of pressing it down, guys. Getting it flat so when they scoop it out, they get a little bit of everything here. Mm -mm. Man, they're gonna be like, oh, there's some big shrimp in here. Yeah, man. Neither can't eat shrimp, so I gotta use my shrimp somewhere. We're gonna just get it nice and patted down. Again, a great, uh, um, I was on, almost say a Halloween, but it could be a Halloween <laughs> recipe. A great, a great Thanksgiving, or I was gonna say holiday. Great Thanksgiving, Christmas recipe. They're gonna think you fancy if you come, um, you come to uh, Big Mama's house with this. She gonna, she, gonna, she gonna look at you funny because she used to making all the good plates, but. All right, so that's, that's the way you wanted to look. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What, man, shoot, look at this thing. Brother, can you see all the crab in there? Oh, 
it didn't seem like a lot and that cornbread with the sweetness is going to come through you got shrimp poking out at you oh that little cream of soup again that mushroom the cream of mushroom or cream of celery would make it a little more savory that shrimp is going to be really powerful because we're using the cream of shrimp soup um, but the cream in there is gonna gonna help it. That's a little more sweetness to help with the uh, seafood. But well, we're gonna throw this in here, and we're gonna give it probably, guys, not that that not long. The most maybe 30 minutes. Um, it's not super wet. Again, that I, you have broth. If you happen to use more bread than I use, or your or your or your your ingredients were a little more wet, just you just revise. It's, the kitchen's about. Um, about testing things out and trying things out. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in there and just let it get a little, little crispy and a little cooked, all right? And I'm thinking a 30 is probably plenty of time, guys. No, 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 no. Y'all know I don't know how to use this thing. Uh, three, oh, oh, boom. And yes, I do have a timer on the oven. No, I don't know how to work it, okay? <laughs> I know somebody's going to ask, why are you doing this in the microwave? You're not microwaving nothing, man. Mind your business, okay? Mind your business, all right? So, super, super easy, y'all. This is going to be great. Um, I can't wait to bring it over there and just watch people eat. You know how sometimes you just make stuff and you just like watch them eat it. Who made this? What? Just sit. You don't even want nothing. You just be sitting back like this. Oh, he went back for seconds. Did you, you made this? <laughs> and the recipe is, Anita's gonna eat when we go to the um, to the party tonight. We had lunch already. Um, we had leftovers from P.F. Chang's, so that worked out beautifully. But um, we're going to a, uh, a retirement party. That's not the only thing that's gonna be out there. I just told him, I was like, I, do you, would you like me to bring, one, bring something? And they were like, I mean, uh, I already know what he likes, so I was like, I got you, bro. I'm gonna bring a little dish. Don't worry. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. So we're gonna use some of that. Um, the season that we use was with spicy seafood blend. If you don't know our blends, they are lower in salt, higher in flavor, um, a lot more ingredients that you usually see in uh, blends. Um, those are not like filler ingredients. We have some uh, blends that have 29 ingredients in them. Um, so you're getting a lot for your money. Um, this one has pink Himalayan sea salt, celery, mustard, garlic, paprika, sugar, bay leaf, black pepper, white pepper, allspice, onion, garlic, cayenne, cloves, mace, cardamom, cinnamon, cumin, dill, ginger, and then we add kelp. So you get iodine because we're using a pink Himalayan sea salt that does not have iodine. Iodine is integral to your health. So that's why we, we, we eat table salt. Mostly not because we need salt. Um, we get salt from a lot of foods that we eat, but we need that iodine for our thyroid health. So um, we add kelp so you naturally get that. You don't really have to go to table salt if you don't want to. Um, so really good. And you know, our blends are all purpose. Just because it says seafood doesn't mean that's all it's for. We're going to have a chicken blend and a beef blend. And what do I put on my cornbread? Our, blend, our blends are made to go on everything. We put this on chicken, on potatoes. And you guys know that that are part of the green team. Y'all know how we use our blends. Our blends are all purpose. We won't make a blend that's not all purpose. I'm not gonna make a just a oxtail seasoning or a beef seasoning. I'm not gonna do that. So Warren, Arkansas, how you doing? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know I'm missing a lot of comments. Oh, I can look right here, y'all. Oh, no, no. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I can, maybe I can. Uh, let me just see what people are saying while we're giving this a hand. And I, I like to acknowledge uh, folks when they come on. Y'all know that. Um, especially if we ever get any, any newbies. So let me say I like the background music. So um, you know how it is live on, on social media um, when you have monetization on your videos. Um, they, they, they flag you for everything. They will take all your mon monetizations away. So... You either don't have monetization and you play whatever kind of music you want, or when you do, um, you, you usually don't play music. But I found a YouTube um, royalty-free music station, so I just put my TV on YouTube and, and play, so I have a little something going on, that's all. Uh, let's see, Sue Roland, thank you for 50 stars. Peyton says he always enjoys our videos. 
So I ain't said nice teeth. Girl, one of these is fake, girl. I could pop her out right now, but I don't want to grow you out, all right? <laughs> it's a nice teeth. This teeth 57 years old, girl. I need a whole nother set, all right? Um, how do you eat this? Um, how do you eat it? You just scoop a little bit out, put it on your plate. You want to get something like a fork or a knife, a spoon or something. Don't just pick it up with your hands, all right? And then slowly put it up to your mouth. But right before you hit it in the mouth, go. Especially if you eat it right after. And then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Push it back a little bit. Why are you going up and down? Push it back. Right down. I know. <laughs> you mean, how do you eat it? You can eat it just like this. You can add it to a meal, however, however you like. So this is a party type setting. Um, they was like, did he even just give me a lesson on how to chew, how to eat, did he? Look, you know, I'm sorry, this is me. Um, uh, somebody said that you sweet cornbread in my dressing. You smart, Martha. <laughs> you were smart. Um, let's see, uh, somebody said, eat it with some greens, child. Look, I'll be there. you can eat it whatever you want. We, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna stop it. <laughs> Somebody, Crystal said, I would never know you have a fake tooth. As much as I talk about my fake tooth, bro, I pull out. we grew up with baby teeth right here, the, the incisors, and um, the fang teeth, if you want. So I was, I, I just turned 57. I was 52 and bit into a, a sandwich, and that little baby tooth said, I gotta go, I gotta go, and just came right out, bro. I mean, it was it was nothing wrong with it. It wasn't like rotten or anything. It was just kind of worn down from um, not leaving at four years old. <laughs> so you know, cause I ain't rich and I'm and I ain't Hollywood yet. You know where they have all the same teeth that look the same all the way around. You know how they get once they get Hollywood, they get those the new veneers and they like all the front two teeth all the way around. So, I could have got like an implant one, but ain't nobody, ain't nobody rich. I had, my car didn't cost how much with the implant one. So I just said, give me one little snappy on one, a little snappy on, snappy in. So, that's what, that's what I've been doing. Don't be asking me questions, because I answered them, all right? Um, let's see. Um, Martha said, stop being silly. You know how I do. I ain't never going to stop doing that. Uh, so it goes with any kind of meat, of course. It's another version of dressing. Uh, somebody said, Elisa, um, you can make it at the holidays. Believe me, they're going to think you, look, they're going to think you fancy if you come to a party or your family function or, God forbid, a funeral or whatever y'all bring food to and you, you roll up in here like this and put it down. Don't even say nothing. Somebody's going to be like, what's that? Just try something. Let me try something. You can sit right there. Who made this? <laughs> y'all know y'all know y'all like when they say who made this. When are we gonna cook oxtails? When I, as soon as I have time, the oxtail recipe that we that we do have in our in our in our cookbook is a long, it takes a couple hours. Man. Um you know how it is when we live, man. I'm not trying to do that to y'all, man. I'm not trying to do that to y'all. But one day we might do it. Or I might revise a faster oxtail recipe. And then again, I gotta get rich, because you know oxtails cost nine hundred thousand dollars, alright? Um Of course, Peyton, of course. Uh, I try to read all of them. I never can read all, all the uh comments. Uh let's see, let's see. Uh uh oh, I got another person I need to uh uh get out of here. Bye, Babito. He's gone. Um What's on the fridge? Oh, what's on the fridge is the same thing that was on the fridge yesterday. And the word on the fridge from yesterday, I'm not even gonna turn you guys around, is not doing them how they did you. It's what's keeping your blessings flowing. Yo, that's a word right there, bro. Not doing them how they did you is what's keeping your blessings flowing. Because if you follow the law of reciprocity, they gonna get their thing. If they give you some negative, if you are continually giving out positive, positive has to come to you. Especially if that's all you you uh, 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 strive to collect. So whatever you put out is what you want. All right. 
Uh, let's see. Did you know Tabitha Brown book is the number one bestseller? Yes, she is. She yes, got is. she got a following. Like, man, if it wasn't for Tab last year, Tabitha helped us get through 2020. Um, she used our blends, as you guys see all the time on her show. And when we first thought about, when I first quit my job last February, um, it was the last day of February. March, the first couple of days of March, they, they said, close down everything. COVID, close it down. And I was like, oh my God, the worst time in ever. Um, the combination of you guys uh, really loving us and following us, and then Tabitha Brown also using our blends a lot during that time, changed our whole trajectory. So we, we owe her stupid kudos. Um, and um, and she's getting a big hug from me when, when we finally meet face to face and not through messenger or anything like that. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a, a, a quasi book tour. We are not Tabitha Brown, so no. we, we don't have uh, we can't fill out auditoriums for people oh, who want our books yet, yet. But um, the end of October, I'm saying tentatively maybe the 23rd. So if you guys need to keep your schedule, it's gonna be in Virginia Beach. It's gonna be a gathering in Virginia Beach at Town Center. We're gonna have our first. Um, book signing um, for our cookbook, our volume one cookbook that we will hopefully have in hand by then. I'm trying to see what's up what's up with the shipping. Um, that's why I haven't announced the uh, the date yet because I, I don't control how soon I get them. Um, but when, when we get in there, we're going to have some appetizers, a little food, a little music. We'll do a small, like a little mixer kind of thing, but uh, we'll be signing books. You can pick up your books there. Uh, we'll do giveaways. We're going to be giving away um, all of our spice blends, a knife, um, hat, apron, um, really cool stuff. So just come. It's a it's a free event. Um, again, tentatively 23rd. Don't put that on your calendar yet because I haven't locked everything in yet. Okay, based on the books being here. So, um, thank you for uh, Reg Reginald. Thank you for 50 stars, man. Uh, Josette said, hope you can come to Maine and you meet and greet. We, we want to go everywhere. We can tell you definitely. Our first official meet and greet will be in New York, either earliest next spring, which is coming, you know, in a few months, or the early summer. Locking in those dates right now. Um, Chicago and Houston, Texas. Those are the top three. We're going to do three plans at a time, three cities at a time, depending on the, the you know, turnaround. There'll be a whole night with Cooking with the Grains. We're going to cook a whole full course meal. Uh, we'll have entertainment, music, fun. We're going to be laughing. Um, most of the family will be there, whoever can be there in that city at the time. And it'll just be a fun time with the, with the Green Team, with you guys, all right? Um, yeah, Tabitha Brown is a force of nature. She's just... Man, just just being in her gust for a little while was worth it, you know. <laughs> uh, Kansas City might be one of them. I can't I can't say. Uh, Blanche from Virginia is in the hills. Hey, Blanche. Uh, Mr. Green, I already know you and Mr. Need a huge blessing is coming soon, and then I'll be your private pilot. Stella, you better do it. Stella's going to drive. She's going to fly us around the world. Man, as long as it ain't like Soul Plane. As long as it's not like Soul Plane. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, somebody said they brought oxtails last week and some short ribs for 88 bucks. You see what I'm saying, y'all? 88. I can't look. I don't, I don't have no house to put up. I run, we rent. This is an apartment. We, look, I can't got no house to put up to get oxtails. I don't have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm still paying for my car. So, we ain't rich yet. bro, we not oxtail rich yet, bro. <laughs> Man, Washington D.C. there might be one. Um, the the cities that we chose were based on um, our viewership. So our highest viewership is New York City, believe it or not. So even though we're from Virginia and the Virginia people love us, they're way down. Virginia is way down. People here don't know us. <laughs> so the top three cities were um, New York City, New York. Um, Chicago, Illinois, and Houston, Texas. Those are our three top viewers cities. So, get your look. Come on, let's get our viewers up, y'all. We can share in your in your city. It's fine. It's groups in your city. You need to share us too. Um, 
North Carolina's right next door, but we gotta be, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta think like a business. Like, boom, even though it's easy to go to North Carolina, we gotta go where people are gonna come out. So, I know you'll come out. I'm not, I'm not saying you. Um, somebody said she's building her career for about 20 years. Yes, she is. She started acting, um, and then when she did that vegan thing, um, it just kicked off. It just kicked off for her. Um, uh, Derek, we told him stuff, lobster tails y'all had, y'all got it. Look, I don't mind making, look, we're going we gonna to figure all the, the recipe out. I, I got it. I think I have a tentative place in New York that we're going to lock in. Um, but we'll let you guys know. What, what, things are being being worked on. I promise you that. Um, Jacksonville, Florida is in the house. Look, I got somebody else I need to go ahead and block. Oh, boy. They, 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 they look, they on one. They the spamming. Um, George Patterson, thank you for 100 stars. Sue, I wish I could come to Phoenix too. I, I've been through Phoenix. I've never been to Phoenix before. Um, yeah, we're on early because we won't be on at 6, um, our regular time. We have a, um, a, uh, a party, um, a time retirement party, party that we were invited to. So we were like, you know what? Yeah, they, they came to our party and we like these people. And I want to they celebrate with us. them. So they invited us and we're going to be there. So, um, uh, yeah, I got rid of Cuckoo or whatever his name was. Monticello, Florida. Look, everybody putting their, their, their state in there. Look, let's, let's check the numbers out, bro. I, look, I know y'all love us everywhere, man. Um, but you got to spread the word. I, I love to go everywhere. I wish I could just say, you know what? We're going to go to every major city in every state. <laughs> every state. But, you know, logistics. So, we're going to see what we can do, y'all. Uh, oh, Tracy said she meant we got it because y'all said we're not oxtail rich. She said, I saw y'all do them lobster. What you talking about? <laughs> Look, I guess lobster's on sale, okay? Um, yeah, we got. I got rid of uh, the scammers. Y'all see another one, let me know. Linda Pollock, Pollock said 100 stars. How we doing on the time, y'all? Oh, time's going. Hey, time's going. Uh, Jersey City is in the house. Maryville, Indiana, in the house. I see Monticello in the house. I know y'all love us in Virginia. I know y'all love us in Virginia. We're just going on the numbers, and the, 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 our, most of our viewers just come from certain areas. Can't, can't argue with the stats, unfortunately. Um, Belisha, thank you for 50 stars. California is in the house. Yep, Chicago's top three, uh, Tammy, so... We going we gonna now, when we announce the dates before the end of the year, they probably will be sold out because there won't be gigantic uh, uh, um, venues. We'll we'll be able to probably sit thirty five to forty people, tops per city. Um, so as soon as we we put them up, and then based on the sales, I'll see if we want to add another like a second day in the city. That that's all, always an option, but most of them we're gonna try to keep the cost down and. But we'll let you know. That's we're talking about the future right now. Um, Calhoun, Georgia, in the house. I see Philly in the hills. Houston, Houston's one of them. Uh, Marquita is a first time viewer from the Dirty South. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the family, uh, Marquita. You family now. Um, what kind of dip are we making? Um, Tracy, we did not make a dip. We made a dressing. Okay, so it is a what you would call a stuffing. If you would put it inside of something, <laughs> so we it's 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 cornbread based, but it's shrimp and and crab and cream of soup and a lot of vegetables and some great spices and some nice plant based butter. Uh, few quality ingredients you can make things taste super elevated. You don't have to put 900 ingredients in things. And use a few elevate and you elevate each one. So you, you notice I cook that in the butter instead of, I could have cooked that in just regular vegetable oil, the, the, uh, the vegetables, and they would have been cooked. But you want, to, you want to find ways to elevate your flavors as you cook, especially if you're cooking simple ingredients. So not take over the flavor, but elevate it. So I, I had choices. I could have just used olive oil or whatever, but we used the, the plant-based butter. It's going to bring flavor to it. So uh, let's see. Houston first time. What's up, Pam, Pamela Kennebrew? Good to have you. So, so lots of lots of people 
um, are watching us all over the place. I don't want to take away from anyone, and we appreciate everyone that watches all over the world. It's crazy, man. Um, that one day we just started saying, let's just share our, our dinner time with people, and, and and we're here now. It's crazy. We're here with a line of spice blends. We did not have that before we started doing it. We have our own knife line. We have uh, hats, aprons, and all kinds of stuff. And and our first ever cookbook that we just published. So it, things can happen. Um, don't let your dream die, even though this wasn't one of our dreams. It was our trajectory. We just followed the steps that were things that, that, that fell in place for us. We just say, you know what? I like where that's going. Let's step into it. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes um, don't limit yourself. Um, always have your dream going in the background. Even before we, I quit last year, we were still doing, we, we've been doing Cooking with Greens for the last four years. Four to five years. 2000, I want to say 2016, 15, I think we started. Uh, ever since then, we've been slowly, slowly rolling. So don't, don't give up on yourself. Don't think things have to happen overnight. Um, don't believe that you don't, I, I, I'm not a chef. I didn't, I didn't go to any culinary school, but I got better by practice by learning, by immersing myself. Every day I cook. Every day I try to learn something new. Um, I taught myself how to publish a cookbook. I never published a book ever in my life. Um, I designed and we didn't know anything about spices, but we taught ourselves, you know? So don't give up on your dream. Um, you can do it. You have what it takes to do it. I don't know who, who needs to hear this, but I don't care what kind of paper you have hanging on your wall, the diploma, I don't care what type of letters you have behind your name, you can do it. You have everything you, you need. Do it. You can do it, my wife said. <laughs> you can do it all night. Um but yeah, Blanche Shy Town in the house. Yup, I didn't I never drew or painted before. Now I'm painting. Um literally just a year into painting. Um, and I have um, my paintings in a gallery. It's crazy. Like, I never drew when I was a kid. I never uh, w w took any classes or anything like that. And you I didn't even YouTube how to paint. I just picked up a brush one day and just said, oh, man, man. So, you know, believe in yourself. And believe, and only believe that what you do is going to work. Not, this is probably, this might not make it. No, you gotta, first you gotta start right here. You gotta build it all right here. And then it's got to be real in here. So when you start making those steps, it, you can you can create from realness. Um, yeah, I'm an artist too. He said. Yes, you uh, are. Tell us, you are a paid artist. Need to say I'm a paid artist. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Bert, Bertha Smith said, "Howdy from Copperas Cove, Texas, next door to Fort Hood, Texas." Look, we're gonna we're gonna be coming to Texas, so make sure you get your ticket. I I, I I just I just hate that everyone that that wants whatever city we go to, everyone that may want to go come and not gonna be able to come. It's literally gonna be first come first service. But we're not there, we're not there yet. Maybe in the next year or two, where we can I can have a whole crew of chefs cooking my recipe, and then we can get a bigger place, and then we can. Forward to put 50, 100 people in, in a place and, and give them dinner, like a whole restaurant full of people. But until then, we're going to step one step at a time, one step at a time. We don't have to be nobody else. We just have to be ourselves at the pace that we're supposed to move at. Um, let's see. Would it be like, Eleanor? It'd be like greatness. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be so good, guys. It smells good in here already, too. Um, Atlanta, Georgia, in the house. Char Charlene, she says she's excited because she placed her first season order on yesterday, and it's on the way today. We try to make sure we are like this with the orders. It's not always like that, but we try to make sure it is. Um, Anita's feeling okay today. She just had physical therapy. She is uh, lounged out on the, on, the, on the couch right behind the, the camera there. Um... That's right, you can do anything you put your mind to, and until you believe that, um, not to get all religious on you, but the Bible tells you that. 
Now, you know, I already, already talked about that. It's, and you don't have to believe in the Bible. You can just believe it's like a whole fable book of, uh, of lessons. Well, that fable book of lessons, the first lesson that was put in there was, hey, you guys are like me, and I'm going to show you what I did was I thought something, and I spoke it, and I made it happen. That was the first, that was the first Genesis lesson. It was like, I made land because I said, let there be land. Let there be light. Hey, let me be able to paint. Let's write a cookbook. <laughs> let me have a cooking show. Like you actually, once you tap in here and get all this right, you can literally, you made in that image. You can say the stuff and make the things happen. I'm telling you guys, the key to life that people do not know. Um, a lot of people got their orders and they mail it in. They said, can we watch, we can watch the lives from all the cities. I don't know what that means, but yeah, you can. Go to any city you want and watch the lives. I don't care. Can't wait to send you guys the cookbook. Hopefully, I'll be mailing them out next week. That's my that's my estimation. They haven't given me a date. They said 13 to 14, the, bo the, the uh, boat was going to be docking. Um, and then they still have to get from New York to us in Virginia. I don't know how long it takes to go through customs to get out of the bug. I don't, I don't know. This is our first time doing cookbooks um, ever. Um, our first ever cookbook. Customs. He's got it loud. So I'm hoping a week. I'm hoping a week we have them and, and, and you guys start getting them. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I think she's asking if you will go live in every city so we can watch. I don't know, because I don't think that's fair to the people that are paying. Um, maybe we'll talk about that or, or before the end of the year. Um, if anything, maybe we'll go and just do a little quick little, hey, this is what's going on. This is, this is the menu. These are the plates. These are the people that came. Hey, see y'all later. We're going to hang out. You know, something like that, maybe. Um, I, can't, I can't answer that one yet. Like I, like I said, I'm still working the logistics out. Uh, let's see, let's see. Georgia says she's on her third set of seasons and she loves them all. Man, look. And somebody said, Martha said, hey, amen, I believe in the Bible. But everyone does it, and that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. At the least, you know, the principles that are in there are solid principles. And most of the principles in there are solid principles. Because everybody's not going to believe. Everybody's not going to be the same, unfortunately. Um, no, fortunately, I'm glad everyone's not the same. Um, Derek, you're a super talent, very artistic. Thank you. Need is Eric calling you hot so you can eat all your meals with Derek. <laughs> uh, somebody said, I can't wait to make the, uh, to get my cookbook. I want to make the yellow rice. Again, just a real, real, real big secret that you probably already know. All our recipes are on our website. So you can get the cookbook. And also, you have. You don't see that look I gave you? Um, Vandy, happy birthday to you! Yeah, 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 that's awesome. Sorry about my signal, y'all. Um, it does this every time I'm live. I don't know why. But, um, and it's going to be a little, little uh, crazy looking because uh, I'm on my 5G. I'll switch, switch it back in a second. But, yeah, I had a, a website that Jessica's talking about called 360.com. And it was an artist community website. We had a radio station. We had a game room. Um, we did interviews of um, um, up-and-coming artists. A lot of stuff was going on. It was a big community. I think I was getting like 45 million hits a, a month back then. This was like 2000. I think I started 2002, somewhere around there. It was before Facebook blew up and Instagram, all that stuff. And it was actually a community. had a lot of people on there. Um, <clears throat> we did a, a, a meet and greet trip. Um, it, it was fun. It was really fun um, connecting with artists and stuff. And yeah, I probably won't bring that back. That was a lot of work. <laughs> yes, yes. And then next year is the year that we're going we're gonna to try to start our, uh, our nonprofit. So we're going to try to do a thing that kind of feeds people and helps families out in need. Um, but we wanted to be all structured. We don't want to be like we were 
all last year just willy-nilly giving money. There was no vetting process. Um, we weren't really responsible with the money. Um, some people were getting like, you know, we just wanted to make sure everything is above board. That's that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Everything needs to be above board. If we if you guys are giving us money to give to make sure people are being taken care of, um, we want it to be above board. We don't want to be like, hey, you can trust me. Look at me. I'm giving money to this dude. I mean, I, I want to be everything to be above board. Okay. Let me see if I can switch back, guys. Don't lose me. All right. But we got to see what this um, dressing is going to look like. Hopefully. Not better. Let's see. Let me just peek in here a while. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It says 16 seconds, y'all. You see that? Mm, I might give it a few more a minutes. But it looks good. And it smells even better. Mm, 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 mm. Do you make a cream sauce? Okay, somebody, let's see. Do you make a cream sauce or gravy for the dressing? I do not for this. It's good just like that. Again, remember we have a cream of soup in here. Um, you can if you want. I mean, if you want to make it like a, a Thanksgiving type thing, you can make a, 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 a little vegemel type sauce if you want it. A little cheesiness maybe might be good or a white gravy, um, like a seafood gravy. Um, I could, but I don't think it needs it. It's really, it's really rich. So um, adding gravy, it probably put it over the top. I probably wouldn't put any gravy on this. Let's see what we're looking like, guys. I might just stick the um, broiler on for a few seconds if I'm not, I don't have the right. All right. That's kind of like where I want it here. You see? Got a little crispiness on the edge. It smells like heaven. Heaven. It smells like heaven. Bitty, 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 bitty. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to give it a broil. I'm going to give it a quick little broil a um, minute or two. How about that? Let's give it one minute. Because I, I want to I wanna be sure that I don't, I don't get black on top. Okay. Cause you know, I'll start, I'll start talking and, and be like, oh, 20 minutes ago, I was supposed to take that thing out. Uh, when will we be in Grand Rapids, Michigan? Look, hard to say. Um, somebody asked that we have uh, salt free, we have eight no salt blends and a majority of the, almost all of the other blends that we have that do have pink Himalayan sea salt in it, have a lower amounts of salt. So the salt is not the the star of the of the blend. Let me let me just grab one that may have salt in it that is not a no salt blend. Let's grab here, let's grab the lime one. And forget about my labels, y'all. So this is our spicy lime blend. Alright, and if you look on the side, we have all I know it's backwards. We have all the ingredients listed from most to least. The pink Himalayan sea salt is down here. So there's more chipotle powder, I'm sorry, chili powder in here, more red bell pepper, more lime, more cornstarch, more garlic, more onion than even salt. So we try to, when, when, we, when, when I, I, I um, started the blends, it was because all the blends I was use, were using were different versions of salt. It was just flavored salts. Um, and... Salt is not, let's give it another minute. I don't know why I said one minute, man. What the heck is gonna happen in one minute? Let's give it another one and three out. So it's a total of two minutes and three se and 30 seconds. Okay, so, yeah. So when we came up with it, we are like, oh, we, we, we started using our own thing. We'll put a, more, a little less pink Himalayan sea salt because you get 84 trace minerals in there. Um, we added kelp to all of them that has sea salt so you get the iodine also that you need for your body. Um, but then we started adding a lot of flavorful herbs in all of them. Um, so it wasn't all about salting your food to get the, get it taste. Because a lot of people, when they say, it needs some seasoning, they really mean it needs salt. And because of the way we, we, we're, we are in this country and in the world, really, salt is usually the go-to. So we um, try to flip our blends so that when you put any of our blends in, you're getting seasoning. And you're not missing the fact that it's not all salt, you know. So we had we have vegetables, fruits, and a lot of herbs in all of our blends. So like I said, some of them have 20, 20 ingredients in it. Um, so this is gonna be good, guys. This gonna be good. Y'all gonna miss us tonight, man. Y'all gonna miss us tonight. <laughs> and then, right, Tracy, you are right. 
For anybody that met us in person, we are exactly like this in, in person. We are exact. This is not like a show person. This is not. This is who we are all the time. And we see you in a church. If we see you in a court biz building. If we see you at the grocery store, we're the same people. All right, let's let's see what we talk about here. Let's see what we're talking about. Let's give them something to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah, boy. Uh huh. Man, that oh, boy. I want to get some of this right now, but I'm not. Can y'all? I'm gonna put it down so because I can see me showing y'all how good it is, and then drop the whole thing on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> be mad as heck. All right, there we go. Let's see what we talking about here. Ah, ah, ooh. I've been really trying, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Trying to hope. Y'all see them peppers in there? Oh. Y'all, and the cornbready sweetness in there, and the creaminess from that cream of um, shrimp soup. Um, the flavors that are in here, the little bit of seasoning that's going to come through on all that, that crabby goodness. When you pull that up, you're going to get the cornbread and the crab all kind of married together. Garlic, I see garlic pieces in here. Oh my God, onion, celery, still with a teeny bit of crunch in it. Oh man, y'all, y'all made me put my. Y'all made me put my soft, sexy voice on that. Oh, y'all hear that? Oh. For no reason at all, bro. If I get pregnant in this kitchen, <laughs> y'all, let me let me put. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit, but I don't want it to steam too much. I'm gonna let it cool, and it can be it can be served just like this. You can throw it in the oven for a little while before you serve it again. Um, but I'm not gonna put this in the fridge or anything um, because in about an hour or so, hour and a half, we'd probably be heading that way. I'm gonna probably get in the shower and uh, get cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is gonna be delicious and a hit. Gonna be delicious and a hit. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, bu -bu 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 Velveeta says, look delicious. Carolina, is this a dinner for your family tonight? No, t tonight we are going to a retirement. If you just came in, we're going to a retirement party from some friends, and they invited us, and they were like, hey, I know you do your show. I wanted to at least invite you. I know you're cooking at that time, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, y'all are peeps. We got to be there, man. So we're going to go there. They're going to have food and stuff like that, a few people, close friends and stuff like that. Um, so we won't be cooking at that time. So we, you know, I figured I'd, I better come on a little early and show what I'm bringing, prep and, and cook what I'm bringing with you guys. Um, so that's not what we're gonna have for dinner. <laughs> um, Lula said, "Lula, leave the shrimp out. You don't have to have shrimp. You can do the crab alone. It, it, believe me, you are not gonna not gonna miss out. Okay, Lula, not gonna miss out. You can still do this for your holiday." And you can call it crab dressing. You can cut up pieces of flounder or any kind of, like a nice light white fish. And also do that in here. Again, cook it lightly like I did with the, um, with the shrimp. Give it a little chop. Throw that in here. with the, uh, And it's a seafood dressing. Look, I'm, I'm hooking y'all up for the holidays, man. Hooking <laughs> up for y'all. You already have my, my, my sweet potato pie recipe and... Uh, turkey, how how I do a dry brine turkey. That's, I think the sweet potato pie is definitely in there. I don't know if the turkey recipe, turkey recipe might also be in there um, since the holidays are coming out. Um, somebody said, give me that little dark corner on the corner. Just a little bit so I can taste it. Ooh, man, it's going to be good. Ah, uh, Tracy, thank you so much. You can make a chicken dressing, right? You don't even have to make a seafood. You can use the same base. And make it a chicken dressing. Same base. You can literally do the same base. Turkey. Shred. Get, get a rotisserie. Or if you already baked some chicken. Shred that bad boy up. Do the same thing. Change the spices out. I would probably use our go-to blend. And a little of our Italian blend. Instead of our seafood blend with that. Cornbread. Same thing. Use the cream of celery or the cream of mushroom. Same vegetables. Bro, you you in there like swimwear? I'm telling you. Um, 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't want to miss anyone. Perfect time with your birthday sweater. Big snake on the birthday sweater. Um, that will work with fish. I know. Very, very, like a light, light white fish. Any type of white fish. Flounder, cod, uh, catfish even, if you want to do something like that. Um, just small, you know, chop. You can either make, chop it into chunks or shred it. And just like you have the, the, the um, I think I wouldn't shred it because the, the uh, crab is already shredded. So you want to keep the textures kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like a little chunks and shreds. You don't want everything to be shredded. But um, yeah, very, very simple to do, guys. And that recipe is in the web, in the cookbook. Yes, I think it's in the cookbook. <laughs> um, since the meet and greet book signing venues will accommodate a limited amount of people, may a paid event maybe a paid event can be created where viewers were not able to make an event can still attend virtually. That's a grand idea, Shirley. We definitely will look into that. If people want to do that, maybe we can do that. We can both make it like $5 or something, and then we'll just leave a live up, or we'll have someone camera, and like, hey, this is what's going on. He's about to bring out the first chorus. This is what it is. Oh, they're, they're singing. Oh, they, whatever is happening, you know? I like how you think. I like how you think. Um, can I see the painting? Um, it's the same painting I didn't finish yesterday, Benita. Um, I didn't do any new painting today. I started to paint last night, but boom, 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 boom. I pulled the painting out like Benita. She was all dressed up and pretty, and she liked it. So I still needed to go in there and, and finish it up, but that's what I got so far. You guys see this painting from the earlier of me that I did on my birthday. And so on and so forth. I got a bunch of paintings. I got new paintings. I need to start taking to the the gallery and and rotating the other paintings. But yeah, I got a lot of. I'm starting to get a lot of paintings at home, which uh, that's a bad thing. I need to get rid of paintings that are at home. All right. So look at Nita. Yeah, go you gotta go to the store. Okay, babe. So we're gonna go to the store, guys. Um, while my uh, while my uh, dressing cools. And I want to thank you guys for being here, man, for hanging out with me. Um, although we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be able to play tonight. Um, we'll be back. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. We'll be back. But thank you all for being here, man, and um, loving us. We love you back. Somebody's knocking on the door. So <laughs> the second... that's darling. So we love you guys, man, and we'll see you guys again. Thank you again for being here from our heart to your plates. Cooking with Greens, we are out. All our newbies, we love you. Um, welcome back, all right? Because you're home now, all right? Peace. <laughs>